Hi everybody! So I originally made this series of videos on spaced practice back in late 2020. It's now summer 2022 and I wanted to make a little short video to share a study that came out about a year ago in the summer of 2021. Um, this study was done on something called micro breaks and it's been something I've been using a lot in my teaching and my own practicing so I wanted to share it with all of you. So in this study they had people learn a button press sequence on a computer keyboard, just a, a series of keyboard presses, and they had to do it as quickly and accurately as they could, very akin to what we do right on the instrument. And the way they had them practice it was a little bit unusual. So they had them practice for 10 seconds and then they took a 10 second micro break. Then they do 10 more seconds of practice, 10 second micro break, on and on. During the micro, micro break they didn't do anything, they just kind of sat there and spaced out. Um, but when they analyzed the data what they found was that the vast majority of the improvement was made during the breaks. This graph from the study is showing what happens while they're practicing versus while they're taking a break. So the gray squiggles are their performance while they're actually practicing and then the gaps between them are when they're taking a break. And you can see that every time they come back from their break, their 10 second break, their performance is at a higher level than they left it at the end of the 10 second practice session right before. When they analyzed the data, they did find in fact that it was the breaks that contributed more to the overall learning rather than the practice sessions themselves. The other thing they found that's so cool is that during the breaks, the brain was not just sitting there doing nothing. The brain was actually replaying the sequence 20 times faster. So it was like a super fast forward replay of what they had just practiced and also backwards, which is very strange and they don't know why. Um, so basically in these 10 second breaks, the brain was practicing what had just been worked on really, 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 really fast. And then when people came back to actually practice again, they were at a higher level than before the break, even though the break was only 10 seconds long. So how have I been using this in my practicing? Um, so I think all of us know that repetitions are important, correct? Repetitions are important to solidify what we're trying to do in our muscle memory so we can rely on it when we get on stage. What I've been doing since reading this micro break study is instead of doing a whole bunch of repetitions, I break them up with little breaks. So typically what I've found works best for me is to try to play something correctly three times in a row and then take approximately a 10 second break. I don't count to 10, I usually just kind of space out and look out my window. And then I try to do three more in a row. If I can do those six perfectly, so three, 10 second break, three, I feel, yep, okay, I got this, I'm gonna move on. If in any of those six total repetitions I mess up, um, I have to start over again, and then I try to do nine total, so three, break, three, break, three. What I find is that taking these little breaks solidifies it much better than what I used to do, which was all of my repetitions, usually minimum five in a row with no mistakes, all at once without a break. So I do five in a row, move on to the next. I find that having the little micro breaks really helps solidify it better. The other thing that I found is that it sticks with me much better over time. So when I come back to this passage later in the day or the next day or you know down the road much later than that, it sticks with me much better than it used to. I don't know if this is a placebo effect or what, but I really do feel after that little 10 second break that it's easier than before the 10 second break. Um, so that's that's been interesting. But I've been using this a lot in my practicing. I've been sharing this with my students and we all find it really beneficial. So that's it, short and sweet. I hope um, you try this out. I hope you find it beneficial. I've been really enjoying using it in my practicing. Feels like a much easier way to do repetitions because you don't have to do so many, you get nice little breaks. And it's been really beneficial. Um, so try it out, see what you think. And thanks for watching.